Stoger STR9C. So this is actually the 9C variant of this. There's the 9 and then there's the C. Now this has a shorter barrel, a little bit under 4 inches, while the regular is a little over 4 inches. Um, it's a wonderful gun. I've done a lot of research on it and it has a lot of similarities to some Smith & Wesson, some Glocks. Um, a lot of the internal components are a lot of the same. So I can take this apart for you to understand that. Now to take it apart, you just pull this back slightly, pull these down, and it comes off just like that. Um, now on the inside here, you can see all these. I was looking at a bunch of comparisons. I don't have a Glock personally, but I can see the similarities between all these pieces on the inside. And on the inside, you just have the spring and the barrel. and. It's a pretty simple process to take apart. It's pretty clean on the inside. I fired a good hundred rounds through it. Um, and it didn't jam or have really any issues at all. Uh, I had one cartridge that did not fire the way it should have. And all I had to do, I took it out. I waited the procedure time, uh, the good 20 or 30 seconds. And then I put it back in and reloaded it and it was good to go. It fired that time. So it's really just, it's a great gun. Um, it fits well into your pocket. It's a little on the bigger side, but that's kept what I wanted. I have bigger hands. Um, my hand fully fits on it uh, very comfortably, actually, with another hand underneath to kind of secure it. Um, the iron sights are great. You can adjust the rear iron sight depending on the drift and things. They have these little white dots on the top here that you can see and lining them up makes it very easy to aim. It stands out a lot if you were to have versus a gun that would not have that if it just had the plain iron sights that were black and everything and it makes it very easy to focus on the front sight. Um, the mechanism for releasing the bullet is very easy. The mag falls out from mine. Not every single time, but if you press it enough, it does. Also, as you can see, so this is the magazine from it, uh, STR 9mm. Um, you have these indicators that actually tell you how many bullets are loaded. I really like that feature, it's really nice. My magazine actually has an issue with this. Um, because one of the slots that it's supposed to fill up, it's the second to last one, the 12. Um, it doesn't, for some reason, no bullets collect in it. But it holds 13 bullets in the magazine alone. Uh, I haven't seen this on a lot of the guns uh, in this price range. Like I said, the Taurus, the Taurus 3C, Taurus 2C, they did not seem to have this. So it's a feature I really like. The spring. I don't really, it's very, at first, it's kind of better now because I've loaded it a bunch of times to the max, but at first it was nearly impossible. That's one thing I do not like about this. And the metal is kind of sharp, but it does come with the quick loader, which I really like. I definitely will take more appreciation towards as I load it up more. The, the first couple of rounds are fine, and like I said, I've worn the spring down, but you kind of have to mess around with it to kind of wear the spring down and get it to where it's going to be easier. But when you get to around nine rounds in this, the magazine is not very easy to load by hand. Um, even the magazine loader I was having issues with as the bullets would want to kind of curl up and this is the magazine loader it comes with so it only presses the back down obviously like most do um, but it would kind of cause the bullet to kind of like tilt up like it would go down in the back but it would tilt up in the front so I don't know if that's just a my magazine issue it's not a deal breaker by any means it's $300 this mag release actually comes out there's a little spring inside of there you just take it off this you may be able to see it if I push this um, and then you just literally take this out, swap it to the other side. Mine started for a right-handed shooter, but I swapped it to the left side because I'm left-handed. The gun does not have a safety. Now that's something some people don't like. My fiance, when she shot it, she wasn't too keen of not having the safety, but it does have the trigger safety. So if you are not pressing the middle button, it will not go back. Um, I personally, for something that I'm going to be concealed carrying, I'm happy it doesn't have the safety because it kind of takes one step out of what could become an issue in a dire situation. Now, I already don't really want to carry with one in the chamber, so if I was put in a situation like that, when I get more comfortable, my opinion on that may change, but I, didn't, I don't feel comfortable with it. And 
that's already giving me one step I have to do if I'm in a situation like that. I don't want to have to have a safety to fumble around with and I feel safe enough with the trigger safety and all to kind of protect me and everything as well. And I also have these holsters that I bought. They're just cheap right now. I think I'm going to go with one of the molded plastic types later on. But when it's in here, it actually covers up the trigger and all. And there's nothing that will hit the trigger to actually harm it. And you can pick these up. I got two for $11 off eBay. So it's not the best, but it's a way to get started and everything. I think I'm going to go with the inside the pants carry around like my appendix area or something. I was watching a bunch of videos on it. I have my concealed carry class taken care of. It's already been done. I have my certificate passed and everything, but I do not have my license yet to be able to do that because I cannot get in in Ohio. Now, if you're in one of these states and you're interested in this or you're going to be interested in this at any time in the near future, I would try to get your class and your application appointment scheduled. At least in Ohio, you can't find an opening. I have to search for a county that's about an hour and a half outside of where I live or where I will be living. So it's kind of a pain in the butt, but hopefully I can get it done sometime around December. Um, but back to the gun. The gun is a wonderful, it's built very well. Um, it's very high quality. It's heavier. Um, it's not too heavy, but it's heavy to a point where you feel like it's built well. Um, the grip is great. I love the grip. It is a little too aggressive for my liking. Um, just with the back the way it is, I'm sure I'll get used to it. It just, it kind of eats up your hand, which is good because you're not going to slip with the gun. You're not going to drop it or anything, but it is very, very rigid, very aggressive. Another really nice feature about this is you can actually take this back grip off and replace it with a bigger one or a smaller one. Now I believe this is the medium one. Um, there's a variant of this gun that you can actually buy that comes with three different size backings for this. So they have a small, a medium, and a large. This I believe is the medium. So if you look back here, there's actually this little pin right here that you could pull out, see? It's just a little plastic clip that holds this in and then you can actually just pull this off and swap it out with another. Now it catches in here on this little plastic thing but that's kind of self-explanatory and then you just place a new one on, slide it back in there, take the clip, slide the little clip back up in here. Um, and then the grip on the side of the, the barrel, the chamber, it's it's nice, I like it. Um, it gives you perfect grip on it, whether you pull it down here, you pull it up here, you pull it like this, like however you do, it gives, if they're deep enough, the serrations are deep enough where you will not have any issues trying to cock the gun or aim it or load one in the chamber or anything like that. Um, the mag drop, like I said, is great. It works perfectly fine for me. This is me just, the gun's not even horizontal. Now, I kind of worked with it when I first got it, doing that a whole bunch. Um, I also messed around with the trigger to get used to it because you don't want to just, it, it, you, you don't want to get in a position where you need to use it and can't use it because you're not too very experienced with it. So I messed around with it. I dry fired it a lot with these striker fire weapons. You will not have an issue with that. Um, just a lot of practice so when my concealed carry class came two weeks ago I was pretty experienced with it and I knew what I was doing when I went to shoot it um, my father never had too many handguns so I'm more of a rifle person so this is actually my first handgun purchase um, which I'm really excited about because I'm finally of age to be able to do that being 21 and all um, so I was really happy when my fiance's parents offered to cover the concealed carry class for me so thank you very much to them um, and that's about it. It's a great gun. I have no issues with it. It has a little indicator that pops up when it's loaded. It's a very smooth slide and all. It stays back. It's, it has a swappable mag release. It fires nine millimeter bullets. It's the 9C, so it's compact. The barrel's a little bit shorter. I like that because it's already a pretty big gun. I couldn't imagine having the longer one. Um, and I got it for $310 before tax in Ohio, which, I'd say it's pretty good compared to the other things that I was looking at. I originally was going to go with like a Taurus. Um, I think they're the three C's. Um, her parents have the two C, so I was going to get the three C because theirs look pretty dope and they seem to like it. Um, but I know that they did have jamming issues and I don't know if that's bullet, if that's a cause because of the bullets or if that's a cause because of the gun, I'm not sure. 
All I know is I fired close to 100 rounds out of this so far and I have not had an issue yet. So I'm very happy with it. It's very accurate. Um, so that's about it. If you're interested in getting a nine millimeter at a time like this, I suggest the Stoger STR-9C. Um, it's a wonderful gun. I'm hoping to have more in the future to be able to test out for you all. If you like the video, be sure to leave me a like rating, share with your friends, leave a little comment below how I can make my videos even better. I'd love to start doing more reviews on handguns, on tractors, on farm equipment, on anything. To be honest, I'm as much as I love video games, I love being outside just as much. Um, and I'd love to start doing more stuff with just different things that kind of uh, interest me. So if you liked the video, leave a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. Peace out everybody.